Hey folks, Jason Buckner here from Automation Made Easy and I want you to meet Amos. Now, this is not just a meet and greet. There's a reason why he's in uh, our training today or in our video today. Now, I am an advocate for relationship marketing, okay? Building a relationship with our database so that it's not about you selling to them when you're ready to sell, but it's about you selling to them when they're ready to buy. And to do that, we've got to create a relationship just like we can in retail, just like we can face to face. Okay, super, super important. And you'll see that I send a lot of content to the database and I recommend that you do too. At least once a week, I want you to send content to your database or once a fortnight as a minimum. And I want you to make sure that you're solving one problem and the solution to the problem is getting people to click through on their email and go and watch a video from you, a little bit like what you're doing here today with me. Now, one super, super, super important thing is don't make the mistake that everybody else makes and send it to your entire database every single time. Now, I know this is the default. You think you've got to send it to as many people as you possibly can to get the best reach and the best engagement with your database. In actual fact, that's wrong, okay? That's the old way of doing things. See, email providers treat us like we treat our animals, like our Amos. Now, Amos here, when he does something right, I reward him with a treat. And when he does something wrong, I ignore him, okay? So if he sits for me, he's not so interested here at the moment, is he? If he sits for me, I give him a little treat. And email providers do that to us as well. If we email our entire database, they ignore us. In actual fact, they put us into the spam or the the, the commercial inbox, yeah, if you like. Oh, isn't that cute? Um, but they reward us when we do the right thing. If we just email people that have engaged with our database or email people that have engaged with us in some way over the last four months. Four is the sweet spot, write that number down. If we just communicate with those people that are engaging, then our stats go up, our open rates go up sky high because we're not emailing those people that aren't engaging with us. And in actual fact, our reputation goes up with email providers. So that's what I want you to start doing. If you're not doing it already, when you're sending your newsletters, when you're sending your, your content, when you're sending anything out to the database, make sure it's just to the engaged people. Okay, so we're going to send to the engaged people of the last four months. Now, I hear you say to me, Jason, but I, what about the everybody else? What are we going to do with them? And what we're actually going to do with them is when we get our reputation back up high with all the email providers, because we've been emailing just the engaged people, so our open rate goes up and we get a good reputation over four, five, 10, 20 emails that our reputation is so good. Amos is now playing with his squeaky toy. But once our reputation goes up that high, then we can start every now and again, emailing the rest of the database and getting into the inbox on them as well and getting a better response rate. So super important, four months is the sweet spot. People that have engaged with you over the last four months are the people you want to be emailing and communicating with. I don't care if it's content, I don't care if it's marketing, same process.